Good afternoon, everyone. First of all, Merry Christmas to all our viewers around the globe. Hope you are having a wonderful time with your friends and loved ones. Unfortunately, we are doing a video update for today on a tropical cyclone out here in the Western Pacific, particularly out here in the Philippines. And then we have Tropical Storm Wukong now. Former tropical depression intensified to a tropical storm overnight. And again, earning that international name Wukong uh, Pagasa, giving it a local name of Kinta system continues to move closer to the eastern coast of the Philippines. It was last week approximately 150 kilometers southeast of Guian, eastern Samar, or about 170 kilometers east northeast of Surigao City. Maximum sustained winds are at 65 kilometers per hour with gusts of up to 95 kilometers per hour, so barely a tropical storm. Uh, the threat here isn't uh, the uh, sustained winds, but uh, rather the heavy rains that will be moving across the uh, islands of Visayas and parts of Mindanao as well. The system is moving west-northwestward at 20, 25 kilometers per hour and could make landfall as early as this evening, uh, perhaps in the island of Leyte. Now looking at the latest visible satellite imagery, you can see the system still looking pretty poor. Uh, in terms of organization, you can see the, the low-level circulation center is located somewhere over here. And you may notice much of the high clouds are located north of that system, as we've discussed, discussed yesterday. Not much convection going around over the southern side. We are still seeing some wind shear uh, impacting the system. Uh, so it doesn't really uh, help, isn't really helping the system from, from uh, really developing much. But again... Uh, weak or strong, it doesn't matter because the system will still bring those widespread rains uh, over the next few days across uh, much of the uh, Philippine Islands. Looking at the latest infrared image, you can see uh, the uh, convective activity across uh, associated with the system uh, beginning to impact now parts of Samar, Leyte, and parts of northern Mindanao. Uh, in fact, some of the areas here have already reported more than 50 millimeters of rain since this morning. We are also seeing another burst of convection associated right near the low-level circulation center. Now, yesterday, just as we were doing our video update uh, during the uh, evening hours, we noticed the same blow-up of convection. And uh, throughout the night, uh, that convective activity really blew up and really, really improved. Um, we could see another round of intensification perhaps uh, throughout the night tonight uh, also uh, being helped by the uh, approaching the urinal maximum uh, which is a cyclical thing for tropical cyclones um, so uh, we could see another burst of heavy rains uh, that could move in across the islands here but looking at the latest radar image from the um, Cebu radar station courtesy of Pagas you can see bands of moderate to even heavy rains impacting southern Leyte. This is the island of Leyte and the island of Bohol right over here. So you can see some of these areas already getting um, light to moderate rainfall. Parts of uh, Bohol, parts of Dinagat Island and northern Mindanao also reporting in some uh, rains. Uh, parts of northern Cebu and the, the islands of uh, Panay and Negros also getting in some light uh, rain showers uh, in the past few hours. Uh, southern Samar also getting in on the uh, rainfall amounts here. Uh, parts of the island already reporting, as I said before, 30 to 50 millimeters. In fact, the Kloban have already reported up to 80 millimeters of rain since this morning. So, fortunately, more rains are on the way. Uh, in fact, this, uh, uh, again, the system hasn't even made landfall yet. So, much of the rains are still offshore. Uh, will continue to move in across the islands here. So, more rains definitely and will continue to overspread will continue to uh, move into the islands of Bohol, Cebu, and uh, the islands of Panay and Negros and the rest of central Visayas. Also looking at the radar here from Hinatuan Station out here in Mindanao, you can also see some rain showers impacting parts of Davao Oriental and parts of Compostela Valley, the, the, the areas that have been impacted by Bopa uh, two weeks back. So unfortunately, a wet Christmas and uh, what 24 to 48 hours for much of the region here not as heavy though uh, I, I should know that the heavy rains will be confined mainly across uh, parts of central and the uh, eastern Visayas the um, northern and eastern Mindanao will still get light to moderate rains from time to time but won't really be as uh, heavy 
as uh, the uh, rainfall amounts uh, forecast for um, parts of Visayas Islands. As for the track, I guess beginning with the Pagasus forecast track here, general consensus is the system will continue to move west northwest. Pretty good agreement among the uh, forecast agencies there. Again, due to that subtropical ridge that is entrenched in this region at this time of the year, I will continue to steer the system generally west northwestward across the islands of Visayas, perhaps making landfall uh, later this evening in Samar, uh, in Leyte, the island of Leyte, or perhaps early tomorrow morning, depending on the speed of the system. Uh, we'll continue to cross through to the islands of northern Cebu and uh, through the islands of central Visayas by tomorrow, Wednesday, and then by Thursday, could make landfall across the uh, northern portions of Palawan. Uh, will remain a weak tropical storm throughout. Uh, again, uh, the uh, the threat here aren't the the winds, but rather the uh, the rains associated with this system. Uh, here we also have Joint Typhoon Warning Center's forecast. Again, pretty similar uh, with Pagasa again taking this system right across the Visayan Islands and exiting into the uh, South China Sea, or the West Philippine Sea, as we move into Thursday. Uh, remaining a weak tropical storm throughout, perhaps weakening to a tropical depression as you move uh, as you move into Friday, not going to be a threat anymore for the Philippines there. Finally, we have the Japan Meteorological Agency's forecast, a little bit south compared to Joint Typhoon Warning Center. It's still general consensus on a continued westward movement across the Visayan Islands here. Um, much faster compared to the other agencies, but uh, uh, will still uh, at this at this forecast it will uh, still continue to bring rains across the country for uh, another two days and speaking of that rainfall forecast again we have this uh, forecast map of the rainfall amounts that will be falling across the uh, philippine islands for the next two days for wednesday and thursday you can see the black line here it's the forecast track from the GFS smooth out forecast for the uh, track of Wukong, again taking right across the central Visayan Islands. Um, you can see the uh, shading here, the green shading again representing 50 millimeters of rain or so. So much of the uh, Visayan Islands, northern Mindanao, parts of eastern uh, eastern Luzon could also get some uh, some light to moderate rains here up to 50 millimeters. The shadings, uh, provinces under the blue shading will get as uh, much as 100 millimeters over the next uh, 48 hours. That includes the islands of Samar, Leyte, Cebu, uh, other Visayan islands here. Not so much across northern Mindanao. Again, we're not expecting the heavy rains to impact Davao regions. But rather, perhaps Surigao and Dinagat Island could see some, uh, some heavy rains tonight and into tomorrow as well. Computer models also showing... Uh, a band of heavy rain to move into eastern Luzon tomorrow and by Thursday so we are uh, putting in a little a small blob of 100 millimeter rainfall forecast um, for parts of Isabela and Aurora uh, not gonna be widespread in that area though it will be mainly due to the converging winds with the northeast monsoon and also the easterly so rain showers here will be uh, light to moderate but won't be as widespread as say out here in Visayas and you can also see a narrow swath of red shading that would be around 150 millimeters. So very heavy rainfall uh, and we are forecasting it to occur across the islands of perhaps southern Samar, northern Leyte and uh, parts of uh, Panay and Masbate. Again, as I told before, Tacloban already reporting 80 millimeters of rainfall since this morning so they are well ahead of that forecast track they could definitely receive as much as 150 millimeters by the time the rain stops on Thursday or Friday uh, we'd probably see more of these rains impact uh, parts of uh, Mindoro as well as we move into Thursday again the system will be tracking along this track here west northwesterly so parts of northern Palawan could also see some of those rains uh, as we move into Thursday uh, not so much here across southern and central Luzon though there will there will be some passing light rain showers throughout the day uh, over the next few days but metro manila only around 50 millimeters or so of rainfall so not really expected to see the brunt of the system again the heaviest of the precipitation are forecast to occur out here in the central regions of the philippine islands and that concludes our video update on this christmas day do check out again 
pag-ask for the latest updates on this system, they will be having their 5 p.m. update in a few minutes. So uh, stay tuned for that. We will give you the uh, latest signal, uh, storm signal warnings uh, from the agency as well. And also you have the JMA for the official track as well. And finally, Climate XPH for the radar images. Uh, the two views today, you can again, you can view the uh, stations such as Cebu and Hinatuan for the latest radar and rainfall data in your region. And as always, you can go to westernpacificweather.com for the latest updates on tropical systems and also weather across the eastern uh, Asia. And actually, we have a new feature out here on our website, uh, the uh, Wukong Information Center, which basically consolidates every uh, information that we have on this current system. We have the video updates, the latest satellite images on this system. We also have some uh, updates courtesy of our Facebook page, uh, definitely updated uh, real time there and you also have your storm tracker also gives the forecast track uh, from a from uh, different agencies such as JMA Pagasa Joy Typhoon Warning Center and again we also have that list of the provinces under some sort of storm signal warnings where they will be updated as we receive the latest from Pagasa as well so stay safe guys and again happy Christmas